rumors has it that bishop our very own <laughs> is trans transitioning and moving to other places we do want to know where and why welcome this is sitam church online an interview with bishop ken kimere close to 30 years he has been in ministry and you'd want to hear where he is heading next like follow share and subscribe this particular video and the lord did bless you bishop mwaga unga mwaga mtama eh thank you for the opportunity maria yeah. and um, again i keep on having a point of reference yes uh, again i want to quote my one of my mentors mm -hmm. uh, dennis white mm -hmm. at some point as we interacted with one another and when his uh, uh, tenure of office mm -hmm. had come to an end and mm -hmm. he needed to go back to canada because uh, they used to work within a certain uh, period of time yeah i think about four years and then the fifth year they go back home mm -hmm. for what they used to call follow yeah and uh, either PUAC would bring you back, that is Pentecostal Assemblies of Canada, mm -hmm. or probably they would redeploy you elsewhere. Yes. And I remember uh, there was an extension of his being here because mm -hmm. uh, that time we still felt like we haven't quite gotten everything that we needed from him mm -hmm. as our leader. Mm -hmm. And I think also Sitam was transitioning from just that one single church that used to be at Valley Road. Mm -hmm. And now we had, uh, uh, you know, Woodley. And uh, we were looking at the possibility of him mm -hmm. coming to establish the Sitam Current Church. Mm -hmm. And I remember I was one of those young people who were with him and we were doing the groundwork clearing, mm -hmm. literally, you know. Mm -hmm. One thing I've learned from him yeah. is uh, you re lead from the front. Yes. You do the work and you show people how it is supposed to be done. Yeah. Uh, and that's a, you know, a quality that I got from him. Mm -hmm. But the other thing that I remember him mentioning is mm -hmm. that uh, as a leader, mm -hmm. you have to know the time to come in and the time to leave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if you do not leave, mm -hmm. all this good that you've done during your tenure of office could easily <laughs> start taking a different turn altogether. Yeah. In other words, it's always good to leave when things are still at the peak, mm. at the top. Yes. And then believe God for a new season that will spiral you into a new dimension of your call. Mm -hmm. And that is when actually after staying around for close to about 10 to uh, going to about 12 years, mm -hmm. he, he had to go back to Canada mm -hmm. and begin a new spiral of his own ministry. Mm -hmm. And he told us this time to come and there's time to go and I think that stuck with me and we strongly feel convicted mm -hmm. that it is time to exit mm -hmm. yeah, not because there is anything wrong with the ministry not because there is nothing that we can do around mm -hmm. but it's because God is moving us to a new phase mm -hmm. of, uh, of ministry mm -hmm. and we strongly believe like as I said earlier on, um, I, I see myself doing about three or so things. Mm -hmm. uh, number one is to continue uh, identifying and mentoring young emerging leaders, mm -hmm. not just in Sitam now, yeah. but even at a wider scope of the globe. Mm. So I see myself doing a global ministry. And then secondly, also working alongside with many ministers who are in ministry mm -hmm. and probably have never gone through Bible college. Yes. I see myself again being part of training such people, equipping them, retooling them, and helping them to be more effective as they serve the people of God. Mm -hmm. And then thirdly, the other thing I see myself doing is also being able to travel far and wide in doing missions. Yes. Uh, the other passion that I have is just uh, doing the work of missions, mm -hmm. uh, outreach, and uh, you know where there is opportunity to preach uh, and to teach the word of God, yeah. I would want to continue doing that, but now at a global scale mm. and not just being limited to one particular church mm. like what we are now doing in Sitam uh, at the moment. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. Now you're being humble yes. in telling us a few of the things. But we thank God for you. Yeah. And I bless the Lord for you for allowing you to serve at Sitam. Sure. And particularly at Sitam Church Online. Uh -huh. But before you get to take the exit, time uh -huh. to exit, right. you can look at your camera and say your very last words on Sitam Church Online. Wow. 
what I would say is uh, fix your eyes on Jesus, mm. who is the author and the perfecter of your faith. Mm. Um, for those of us who are in ministry, uh, look up to him because he's the one who called you, he's the one who separated you, he's the one who chose you to come into ministry. So just look to Jesus. Mm. And for those of you who are listeners and viewers, I would also want to suggest uh, make your life to count for God. Mm. And how does your life count for God? Leave a legacy where your life can affect other people. The way you are able to come to know Christ, make others come to know him also. If it is ministry, do your ministry again driven and directed by what we find in Colossians chapter 3 verse 23 and 24 that says whatsoever thing you do mm. do it wholeheartedly mm. as unto the Lord not to man mm. uh, because you know you have a great inheritance from the Lord mm. and it is Jesus Christ that you are serving mm. so what I would say is that spend your life expand your life in God mm. that's what matters at the end of the day All right. yeah.